Are they are as good? Yes, we're having a beautiful time. <laughs> uh, what is the subject today? Today the subject is uh, Aradhara Sudha Nidhi, verse 195. Wow, very nice. <laughs> Meditating on the golden light. Sri <laughs> Rante. <laughs> we all know which golden light. <laughs> no need to say. <laughs> we all are in that one, one flavor. flavor yes. Huh? And um, actually, the verses 194, 95, and 96, they are so special because. They are about the mystery also of the Kama Gayatri. Yeah. 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 This is actually so important to to get the mercy to feel the connection between Radha and Mohan's loving exchange and our chanting of Kama Gayatri. And today we are asking you, Gurudev, to guide us because you're always guiding us and you're always helping us to come to deeper levels and deeper feelings. Deeper levels mean deeper feelings. And we have Goravani and Braj Sundari here. Show yourself. Yeah, here yeah, she yeah. is, the hiding mandri. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a very nice kirtan last night and Always, we are so happy to be together and to do the, uh, how do you say, it? services together. And here comes. I'm also here. here. He is also here. <laughs> Rade, Rade, Dandavat. Komm, go. Komm, setz dich hier. No, in die Ecke. Sit down here. Du bist nicht gemacht für dich. I keep some indescribable golden light that has red intoxicated eyes that destroys the pride of gold and is always eager for very sweet romantic love sports and that is full of lovely playful gestures and of tender age in my heart. I will repeat this because already this verse is so full of sweetness. I keep some indescribable golden light. Shimati Radhika is indescribable. And that golden light that she is emanating from her beautiful, beautiful limbs are indescribable. They cannot be expressed. It is very difficult to express the beauty of Srimati Radhika. And especially when she is together with Mohan. Why? Because then they are always enhancing each other's beauty. She is more shiny when she is together with him. And he also becomes more enhanced in his beauty. He is the one that is uh, already enchanting the whole universe, but he is enchanted by her. So that is indescribable how her golden light and her all uh, red intoxicated eyes are so much giving pleasure to Mohan. And the mantra is watching this. And when I was reading this about the golden light, I often meditate how good if you are explaining to us this connection between the gold light and the blue light. And also Gauravani is a very good artist. He is painting in this feelings how Radha and Mohan are together and how they are giving um, their lights or their shining love to the whole universe in their divine embrace. So that is the verse before, and I just wanted to introduce a little bit the feelings 
because there also the mandri says when will i delight my king and queen radha mohan by massaging their feet and performing other such services while they are lying in a tight embrace on a fresh bed flowers in the nikunja so their tight embrace is actually the the whole you know all desires of the mantri are are fulfilled when they are in their tight embrace and so when they are in their tight embrace who is the mantri seeing she is only seeing the indescribable golden light she is always adiksneya means she is always uh, feeling her swamini and the beauty of swamini and that is what uh, we have been taught by our beloved gurudev for many years now and still of course there's no big realization but still to have this feeling that this is the most important thing and it's all in the mahamantra that is already one of the biggest gift that i have gotten in my life. because just now i think some few days ago gurudev again you explained to us the meaning of the maha mantra with the feeling of this you know background of a uh, mantra bath or feeling of someone who wants to enter into that is to always see radha and krishna together embracing each other and that is the divine embrace and then the mantra says that it is indescribable that golden light that emanates from swamini when she is intoxicated by being together with her beloved and the <clears throat> mantra is she is praying let me keep this impression in my heart let me live in these feelings let me serve their love let me serve swamini's desires and wishes as she is serving mohan's desires and wishes i keep some indescribable golden light that has red intoxicated eyes and that destroys the pride of gold and who is always eager for very sweet romantic love sports and that is full of lovely playful gestures and tender age in my heart of course something which is indescribable cannot be described but why actually shila prabhu tananda saraswati is doing it anyway because he wants to give us a feeling this description is not about gyan this description is about his feelings He's talking about the golden light emanating from Swamini, his beloved deity. But it's not an ordinary golden light. Radharani's ordinary aura is already indescribable. So how to describe? that light which is emanating from her when she is together with her beloved and is successfully serving him in such a way that he is out of his mind that light when she feels the happiness of her beloved is even more emanating and even more indescribable and it defeats even the gold which is thousand times molten you know when you have liquid gold it's sparkling it has quite some very nice impression but this is nothing mm -hmm. in comparison because what she's emanating 
is Madanakya Mahabhat. Madanakya Mahabhat, which is affecting Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati in his kinkari form. And that light is, of course, always eager for more, more sweet, more romantic, more deep, more higher exchange, more service to her beloved. And in this way, there is no defeat and no end. Because when Mohan is happy, Radharani gets more happy, she is giving more, and in this way this light will never end. It is absolutely indescribable, even from the spiritual point of view, what to speak of material point of view. But he tries anyway to describe what is happening when this loving couple is together and exchanging the highest form of Prema, of Mahabha. Completely mad, losing themselves. And that's why this light has to be, of course, full of playful gestures. And of course, it has to be full of very tender age. Not just a tender age, the right tender age. Exactly now, in this moment, Swamini is ripe for that love game. It's so fresh. It's so full of juice. It's full of splendor. It's full of her Mahabharata, of Madanakya Mahabharata. Of course, Srila Prabhupada Saraswati is saying, I keep this indescribable light in my heart. That's my way to come to you, Swamini. <laughs> Meditating on a golden light. Commentary by Sri Das Babaji. Sripat experienced the sweetness of the divine couple in his transcendental vision. When they are very close to each other, the divine couple increases the oceans of each other's sweetness. And the hearts of the maidservants float along in all directions on the waves of this ocean. Rupam kim apyani varjyam tano maduryam uchyate uchvalani lamani when a body is indescribable, beautiful, it is called madhurya or sweetness. This can only be experienced by an advanced devotee. It cannot be expressed with words. Srila Rupa Goswami has written in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 25132. 
that which transcends the mental conceptions of a human being, which is the cause of great astonishment and which is experienced in the hearts of those who are enlightened by Vishuddha Sattva or pure goodness is called Rasa. Yes, so we have here the definition of what is Rasa. Sometimes the devotees ask what is Rasa and we know there are different Rasas. There's Vatsaya Ras, there's Sakya Ras, but my Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the go the the mandris who came together with him, like Rupa Mandri, they came to give the highest of bhakti ras. And here also, in bhakti ras amrita sindhu, we can understand what is the the level of experiencing rasa. So we have the sattva guna. That means all our activities as a human being are in accordance with the purity of heart or purity of intention, purity of food, for example, or eating habits. So many things are included in that sattva guna to be a good, you know, pure person and live according to dharma to my occupational duties as a human, in my family, in my community, in my ashram. That is sadvagun. But then to go higher levels and the sadvagun, as we have heard many times, is like a platform that can go to higher levels and bring us to the soul level. And that is called Shuddha Sattva. On the soul level, I don't only see myself, I see all others also, all living entities as the parts of the divine. And that is a level that is already full of bliss, and full of happiness, because the gunas are not so much disturbing anymore the mind. The mind is calm, and I can uh, peacefully meditate and chant. And then when I come to my, by the mercy of Sri Guru, of Sri Radhika, my constitutional position, that is called Vishuddha Sattva. That is when I am uh, in contact, living in my Svaru, in my eternal uh, relationship to Srimati Radhika or to her Moha, to serving Swamini uh, in her service to Mohan. That is called Vishuddha Sattva. And here Rupa Goswami is giving this example that at that level, when I'm living in my eternal service position and feeling and having transcendental feelings, transcendental senses, then rasa can happen. Then rasa is fully... Um, developed or we can fully uh, relish rasa means madhoya rasa that is the sweetness that was explained this is the sweetness of the love of radha and mohan the sweetness of their divine embrace that sweetness cannot be expressed with words but still we try to beg for the mercy of Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati Thakur, of all of those who have even, you know, given us the hope that we can also listen about it. And we try to follow also the examples of them to continue doing our mental service. That is what you were speaking also this morning, Gurudev. And, and whenever I hear you then uh, speaking it, it feels that my blocked heart becomes again a little bit more softer and I can uh, pray for this, you know, how do you say, mental service 
so that my soul and my whole existence will be purified because only that's my feelings. I don't know, maybe somebody wants to share on this also. When coming closer to that, you know, divine embrace of Radha and Mohan and serving their love, that will help coming through, you know, the different, different qualifications of Satvagun to Shuddha Sattva and Vishuddha Sattva. We need a Gurudev Tik on that matter. We cannot hear, you know. No voice. <coughs> yes. Radhe Radhe Guru. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful day of time. We are living in Guna, like you said, in Sudha Sattva. Satogun. And when we know Suddha Sattva, means I know my about the soul. And that is soul knowing is a gopi vow. When I know and I fix in my soul consciousness, and is there is fixed. If the is there is not fixed, then I don't know the science. We have a knowledge, but we don't know the science. What Prabhupada say about the science? Vigyan. Gyan is there, but Vigyan is not there. The real science is this that I have yesterday. Then this science works when I know my soul. And I want to know my soul, as you say, is the Suddha Sattva. Then Suddhata, purity is coming in our life. Purity comes when I know myself. Purity come when I know what is my goal of my, in my life. Guru is never goal. If Guru become goal, then who will navigate me? Goal is my Swami. My Radhika is my goal. Beautiful Bhagavad, Srimad Bhagavad Prabhupada say, very beautifully, I will show you. In the beginning of Srimad Bhagavad, one is a controller and one is the pa uh, uh, is, a, is a purity and Suddha Sattva. And that is the Sattva. So, Summon bonus. Huh? Summon bonus. Summon bonus. One is a controller and one is a. Absolute truth, Gurudev. Absolute like truth. Huh. Absolute truth. And this absolute truth is the energy of all energy. And that is my song. Bring the Srimad Bhagavad. Absolute truth. And Prabhupada said, Jnana and Vigyan. Jnana means knowledge. We want to gather many information, but we don't know the Vigyan. And what is Vigyan? What is the really 
science to relate with your history. This is the science. Right? Yes. So, Srimad Bhagavad Gita, uh, Srimad Bhagavad also become clear when you read Vilap Kusumajari. Mm-hmm. One day time I listen, I never clear this point. But when this time I listen, mm-hmm. I was, <laughs> my God. Vigyan is this that you are in relation with Vigyan. I'm sorry to say, many don't know this Vigyan, this science, that relation is so important that all realization can come by relation. And that without Vishuddha Sattva, Without living in my soul consciousness, this material body with the false ego and with my senses, it keeps us out to me for zero, nothing. We cannot see the golden light, divine mallow of divine. And you say this golden light, why we see? Because this golden light is so much in ecstasy that he embraces very hardly to Krishna. So only golden is there, blue is inside. So we see only golden light. Blue is covered by golden. And that is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna means this blue light Krishna is in the embrace of the Radhika. Read this line again, you see that. Repeat this line. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. When they are very close to each other. Close to each other. How they close? Very close. Yes, then it's become very close to each other. <laughs> and who is doing this? All time Krishna is doing to Radhika, but today, this golden light is making very close to each other. That is Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Please read, please. When they are very close to each other, the divine couple increases the oceans of each other's sweetness. Ah. Only who can see this, who is very close to him, and who is close to him? Only Radha Dasi. And who is Radha Dasi? That Unnat Ujjurasa. Unnat. What is Unnat Mahaprabhu do? What improve? Only the manjari can feel it. And manjari is the closest one pointed only to serve Radhi. And the hearts of the maid servants you float see? along. They can understand, so they are floating who not understand how they will float, how they will become ecstasy, how they will relish the Ramahara, Mahamantra, without manjari. 
They take the meaning different way, but when they take the real meaning in the right way, not here. The hearts of the maid servants float along in all directions oh. on the wave. This ocean on the wave of this ocean of embrace of Radhika to Krishna. This is the ocean. This is the way. This is her ecstasy for Krishna. And what is happening? So she becomes so excited to hug. Rather. Why Mahajan say? Mahamantra is in beginning, middle and end. It's all of how you understand and how you practice the meaning that is result is coming to you. Prade. Yeah. Go on. Krishna is sweetness himself, but, but Sri Vishapanu's daughter drowns even him. He is, he is drowned in the in the embrace of her in her inside. Because he is the most sweet for my Radhika. Krishna is sweetness himself. But Sri Brisha Banu's daughter drowns even him in the ocean of her sweetness. Wow, <laughs> this is sweetness. All the time you bless me, today I bless you. <laughs> and you are drowning. <laughs> My God. And he is in ecstasy. Who is doing? Who is doing? You open eyes. He is in excess. You, oh, Radha, impossible. He is impressing me. Impossible. <laughs> then Krishna, Krishna, two, uh, two times Krishna, Krishna. He is looking. Oh, <laughs> she is doing. Hare, Hare. <laughs> then he impresses. But he cannot do like my Swami because he already see already impressed from outside and he's inside. So he cannot do what Swami do already to him. <laughs> the beauty. You understand? Who impress you suddenly and he hug you and strongly. And you want to embrace, you sit it till you can put your hand out. Not like if you are made, you become female. Because you lose to, cap to capture everything. You are in. And that is Chaitanya. Only is out. Blue is in. This is Mahamantra. You meditate and chant, and you receive this mantra to meditate. What is more important than this to you? 
material thing will come to your mind. Oh, it will come. If this feeling will grow inside you, but, <laughs> but it can happen. In Vishuddha Sattva, it can happen in your Saru Avish. When soul get the form of constitutional position, what Prabhupada writes, this is the region of the all spiritual life to know my Sarup and know. Sarup Siddhi, that is the practice of our spiritual life. Of, because Jesus see, he said, I am the son, then he said, he is my father. Why? I, my relation is important. Who I am and how I relate with you, that is important. If I want the science to know what Prabhupada gives us, this is the science. This is not a knowledge. Page 4 Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada gives science. And page 5, 6, 7 is a knowledge, introduction. But we don't want to go know the devotional science and sarup and sarup siddhi, we want to go for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is our problem. We are not interested in science, we are interested in knowledge. And we do this. Well, right or not? It's a habit, Gurudev, and that habit has to be replaced or you know for some higher taste because the habit is maybe also from many lifetimes we have been priests or preachers or we have learned that uh, by speaking the scriptures we uh, feel that everyone loves us or we are accepted by god but now to break through that we need rasika advice and rasika feelings and rasika associations Otherwise, this habit of speaking in Gyan or trying to teach will not be broken. The false ego is too high. One thing I say, this is not my word. We take it out. What is the science about Prabhupada is telling? You see, it sees really. Give this far outside. Please give up. Yeah, from outside, please. Sit here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm reading from Shri science, science. Yes, Shri Madhava first account, Prabhupada's preface. Shrimad Bhagavatam is a transcendental science. Transcendental science. Go on, I say it loudly. Not, not only for knowing. Not knowing for knowing. <laughs> Again, Shrimad Bhagavatam is a transcendental science. Not only for knowing. The ultimate source of everything. Everything I want to know, A to Z. What? Paramatma, Atma, Dharma, Kala, <laughs> about the creation, huh? time. Oh, Radhe, 
Internet in Rindavan is Block. blocked. Gurudev <laughs> is always so excited when he finds uh, some proof by Prabhupada's words how the knowledge is not everything to gain or information exchange. So he was quoting this from Srimad Bhagavatam. And why he is uh, stressing it? Because often we also think that bhakti is something about gaining knowledge, but it is far more. The science is deeper than just repeating something I have learned, like in school or university. The science goes to that level that I absorb so much in the service of Srimati Radhika and her Mohan that I become a part, a servant, a dasi of their love, of their existence. That is a feeling, it's not about knowledge. The definition of a science actually is very interesting. First, there's a theory. Then there is a process where you can prove that this theory actually is true. And after performing that process, like Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, when you chant and do it right in the right consciousness without any uh, <clears throat> again destructions destructions or so then you will have in the end vikyan jai gurudev because it's yeah. true so science yes. means you have a theory, you have a, a, a way to prove it, and then you have Vikyan, because you practice this and it's proved. And actually this is what Prabhupada means to say. It's not just knowledge. It's Vikyan. Mm, realized. It's realized knowledge by doing it. Shall we read it again from Kishori Gurudev? Yes. Srimad Bhagavatam is a transcendental science, not only for knowing the ultimate source of everything, but also for knowing our relation with Him. And our duty toward perfection of the human society on the basis of this perfect knowledge. Yes. To go in the science of religion. Yes. Go in the science of relation. Yeah, that's real that is, knowledge. That is the feeling. And he then can say, if your primary school is student, is a one process. If you go in the science and sign it, Assigned with Krishna because he is the way of progress to you, then slow and steady you will reach to ultimate goal, highest goal. And what is that highest goal? Okay. 
who covered to the Krishna with his <laughs> golden eyes. <laughs> Jai Ho! The highest So, without relation, he never opened the door. He checked this that you are Vishuddha Sattva or not. He checked this you are qualified for Manjari Bhav or not. Then he opened the door, Krishna opened the door to enter in the, his Nikunja Dila. Nikunja means his mahal, Kunja mahal, not Nikunja, Kunja mahal, that you can go to serve my Swami as it does. If Gora Sundar not want, you cannot allow to the home to everyone, his friends. When he Dude, takes one, if he close the door, there's no chance. <laughs> no. He may meet outside in office. Why he will bring to home to everyone? He has an office. It's downstairs. Oh, he can sit and talk in the pizza room or outside any place. As for the person. But he is close to himself. He will bring to his home. Similarly for us. Without relation, we don't understand the sounds. You practice 20 years, 30 years, or one year. When you develop relation, you know the sign. You start knowing everything. Second thing, second one, uh, controller. Yeah. Yes. No, yeah, yeah. Listen one second. This is the introduction by Srila Prabhupada. First paragraph. The conception of God and the conception of absolute truth are not on the same level. Same level. Why is it same, not same level? It's dependent. Give mind. Only one mind. What happens? Second mind. Why is it not same level? Because it's not same level. Then how how will it become one is the upper one is lower? Where is the manjari this become upper? And who is not connected with the relation that he is in same he cannot see anything. The manjari or the east day you fix. He will be higher level because as they have the same is not because where there is today you add you are also there, so it becomes a little higher <laughs> because of the touch. That's, that's, that's. The it's on the target of the absolute truth. You see, Srimad Bhagavat is hit on the target of absolute truth. 
Mm-hmm. Not the controller. Understand or not? And who is absolute truth? Great. Same personality of Godhead. No, this is yeah. still your thirty years practice wrong. Go. The conception, the conception of God, indicates the controller. Loudly. The conception of God indicates the controller. Whereas the conception of the absolute truth indicates the suman bonam. Suman bonam. All in all. Sonum bonum. All in all. Sumum bonum. It's Latin. Or Oh, the ultimate source of all energies. Now they understand or not? <laughs> my, my God, I understand. He is smiling. The conception of the absolute truth indicates the ultimate source of all energy. Wow. <laughs> 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 Understand? Understand or not? Yes, Gurudev. Yeah, I go. Yeah, this is the and class. This is the page oh, say to them. You see the Srimad Bhagavad. Yeah, this is just an introduction, first page, first paragraph, first paragraph, written. First, this thing. First, 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 he writes Very first. This. Very first. This is the past of the cinema This is the science. My goodness. My goodness. He said. <laughs> 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 <Yes. laughs> there is no difference of opinion about the partner future of God as the controller. Because a controller cannot be impersonal. Yeah. But we are impersonal. <laughs> <laughs> because we are marginal. <laughs> Pink. Again, first line, I very much like it. Okay. How he differentiate two things. God has an energy also. The conception of God and the conception of absolute truth are not on the same level. The Srimad Bhagavatam hits on the target, target of the absolute truth. Target is absolute truth. It's, it's the target of absolute truth. It's the target of Allahani Shakti, my Somni, Shakti, devotion, Antaranga Shakti. The conception of God indicates the controller, whereas the conception of the absolute truth indicates the ultimate source of all energies.
Yes, good. If if we speak yeah. about the controller, there is something missing because the the all energies are like you said, the Ladini Shakti is controlling actually the supreme controller, and that is the the Rasa version of it. Controller is the God. Yes. And absolute truth is Aladini Shakti. Yes. Energy is the absolute truth. All Thank energies you. are there. Aladini Shakti is there. All is there. You see Kirada Kripa Katash. Sahasra Goti Vishnu Rok. Narma Narma Padran Jasite. Little Naka. Of the nail of the Radhika, they pray. Sasu Koti Vishnu. Go on. This is on the, go on your subject. So I say this is two energy. One is a controller, one is a truth. And truth is the love. Divine love is the truth who control the absolute truth to the controller even. Yes. That is the point, Guru. Yeah. Yeah. This science comes, is a science, research. It comes when we come in relation. Then it starts this science. Rather, well, I understand. Go. Well, now, your word. Yeah. You continue with the embrace, Udi. <laughs> yes. Krishna is sweetness himself, but Sri Vishabhanu's daughter drowns even him in the ocean of her sweetness. The sweetness of her love ever increases when she is with him. Drown. Drown means? What is when drown? Underwater. What is the meaning of drown? They cannot move anymore. He cannot, he gets lost. <laughs> lost, why? Because he captures so strongly, he drowns inside. Right yes. Inside. See that. His eyes have to see this past time. Then our rasa will come. Mm. This eye has to be chakshudandiroji. Janme, Janme, Prabhu said, this eyes has to feel it, see it. That is the divine vision to feel it. Here is drawn the Krishna in the lamp of her. Bah. Dubna. In the water, when somebody is do, not coming out, he's drowning inside. Then we need the, some person who can take out from the catching the air. He don't know how to come out from the water. He's in. Right? Mm. He has no energy to come himself alone. Jyapi niyamala radhara sat prema darpana Tatapi svachat tatara bhatik shanik shana Amara madhu yera nahi bhatite avakashe E darpanera agya nava nava rupa bhashe Man madur ye rat he brema don he hota kori. Kshane kshane bhate don he ki ho nahi hari. Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Although 
the mirror of Radha's true love is spotless. Its clearness increases at every moment. There is no end to the increase of my sweetness, but in front of that mirror, it assumes always new forms. My sweetness and Radha's love thus always increase, uh, increase each other, and no one suffers defeat. When the devotee experiences the sweetness of this loving couple, his prema also increases. Jai Ho! Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 2598. Rati takes shelter of sweetness, and so, and thus reveals Krishna, and so. And when this experience and when this is experienced, Rati also increases again. Rati takes shelter of sweetness. Radhika. So, I think, Gurudev, what this means is that. The subject is when the devotees experience the sweetness of this embrace, like you said, when we chant and we try to remember this, we try to feel and visualize it. That's what mental religion is. Then Rati, this higher taste is coming. And then from this platform, uh, revelations are coming and it's increasing because the the love and of Radha Mohan is always increasing and it's so powerful that it will also drown the devotee who are connecting to this. Yeah, mm. this is the This is the Rati. Whole life we, we learn to leave the Rati as a Kama Deva. Again is coming in his spiritual life to develop Rati. Sri Guru Charana Rati. Why this Rati is 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 a spiritual Rati? Is a Rati of your Samani Rati, your Istade of Krishna Rati. When I say Krishna is not alone, embrace by Swamini <laughs> with the energy of Krishna. Energy of Krishna is Radhika. So when Krishna is coming sometime, then you understand Radha and Krishna. Because without Radhika energy, Krishna himself not understand. Without his energy. Bhagavad Gita 10.15. Bhagavad Gita 10.15 Prabhupada. Krishna himself not understand him without his own energy. And who is the energy of Krishna that he have to understand? My Swami Siddhartha. Go on. Go on. Yes, good. Tripat in his kinky reform has attained the great fortune of tasting that sweetness and the savor has extended is a manjari sripa sripa yes it's manjari manjari like again the preachers we Dasi, we all Dasi of Radhika, 
they are in the form of Sri Pad, who is in the center of Sri Radhika. They are Sri Pad. Go on, repeat, read. Sri Pad, his kinkari form, has attained the great fortune of tasting that sweetness. Ah, that savor has extended the ocean of his Rema. When he sees Srimati's lovely movements, he says, Lasan Nava Vaya Shriya Lalita Bangi Lila Mayam. Her tender age is so beautiful, and her playful movements are so lovely. Vinyasa Bangi Ranganam Pruvilasa Manohara Sukumara Bhavedyatra Lalitam Tat Udiritam Uchwala Nilamani. When a tender girl makes playful gestures with her limbs and enchanting movements with her eyebrows, it is called a Lalita Alankara, the emotional ornament named Lalita. Servant sees these lovely movements in all of Swamini's pastimes. So that is again also very, very interesting uh, proof. Maid servants always focus on Shrimati Radhika's movements, on her beauty, and not on Mohan's. They always, Adik Sneha, they love Radhika more than Mohan. That is the secret of their selfless service. Otherwise, they could never do the selfless service. They would become enchanted. But by the mercy of their Adik Sneha, they are very much focused on Swamini, very deeply attached. They come into that category of oneness with Swamini, and they always see her beautiful form, her beautiful eyes, and her way, how she can embrace Mohan, that he drowns in that ocean of her sweetness. Bhavulas Rati. Yes, that is Bhavulas Rati, and that is quoted by uh, Shila Prabhu um, in Uchwala Nilamani. It's Rupa Goswami's uh, expression of his feelings for Swamini also. Srimati is called Mahapranaya Maduri Rasavilasa Nityotsukam. She who is always eager to play very sweet, loving pastimes. Sripat realizes that when he is the divine, when he's, he realizes sees, when he sees, yeah, Sripat realizes that when he sees the divine couple looking each other, locking each other, locking each other, in a tight Locking, that yeah. is your phrase, Durdi. Locked. Locked. You know, I, this is my realization in seventies. By who? Mercy. In Radha Mohan front. That time I am chanting three lights. In seventies. And that time. I got this vision in the eyes in my front. What is happening? Bah. 
Shripad realizes that when he sees the divine couple. Yes, good. Many places, many way of how is there. But I am meditating is what is my day life. I never deviate in my mind. But I realize what I got the mercy of Prabhupada. I got this science, the realization is the science. And I know this science. I know the yesterday relation make and Guru Kripa make me navigation, bring me to this realization. Guru is not gold. Why I say the navigator is more important than gold. Because this is whole life business, navigation. Every moment business, whole life is not right. Every second business, mm. every step business mm. is navigation. Goal you is the one. You don't need to bother for that. You may go to Gurudev. Then what if who will navigate to me? Navigator is more important, my dear. Every time I will do mistake, I can go back. Navigator is important. Not to catch the wrong direction. And go is a strange fix. We are blockage creating. In our behavior, my ego makes the blockage. My senses, my desires make my blockage. They don't make blockage. These are all my creations. The road is open. It's a Atuman. 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 I have no practice, so it takes time to recover. It's not small trace. It's Atuman. Do this in Atuman. It will bring you to that. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> <is> German. <laughs> <laughs> Shripat realizes that he has written, he realizes it. So that's Vikya. It's not Kyan, it's Vikya, true Sambanda. Shripat realizes that when he sees the divine couple locking each other in a tight embrace. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is the Sugya. Prabhupada Masi. Mahajan Masi. Bona fide special master Masi. Mm. Thank you for sharing this, Gurudev. It's such a big, precious gem, and we try to also. You cannot do, it, my dear. It's a big offense to keeping Muhammad in the heart. This is not possible. I cannot live alone without explaining Muhammad. Ram, Ram. Hare Hare. Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare. Right? Clear to you now? You know this science now. But you know, asking, completing this Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare. 
we don't want to do, know the science. <laughs> One more thing, Gurudev, I see. We have uh, one more. There is uh, yes. when we do the chapa in the hand, we give to Lasi the, our hand, our right hand, and she is guiding us in the Maha Mantra with her touched by her hand. Nice. Nice. This I feel when I touch this. Uh, this what we say wood, but it is actually it is the beautiful sweet hand of Tulasi. Yeah. It's uh, I can touch her hand when I feel my manjari bath. I have also a very small hand, and I touch her small fingers when I touch this. And in this, uh, in this. Uh, Close it. In this, it are such is what we put the thread, and others are gopis. Mm -hmm. And where is the manjari? They are service doing service. <laughs> and that they chant, that is the service of Manjari, that they are chanting this name. And in the center, they are Radha Mohan. They are touching this with Radha Mohan association, Sakhi's mercy. Group is mercy because we are Dasi of Radhika. Who is so anyone is close to Radhika, we have to serve all the time. Like we are eating, we cannot keep Japa without chanting. It's a big approach. <laughs> so they are always in our our jiva is always associated as a dasi of Radhika, always in the name of an association of. Sakis, Gopis, and Radha And they are always in the service. Beautiful. So, last line I say, because it is a brad if you are half, you say Muhammad. Mm -hmm. To half. Yes, good. If we want to hear all, the whole complete. Are Ram. <laughs> Are Ram. But this is the mantra. Are Ram, when I see today, surprise happened in my life. Ra. Radha and my Mohan give me surprise today. Because every time of Krishna is embracing Radha. Today Radha embraces Krishna. And so tightly Krishna cannot do that. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. This this impression is catching my heart so strongly that I don't know what is beautiful that this. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. This is Ramnaiti Ram. Ram Bej Mantra is Radha. 
राधा कृपा कटा अरे राम बन आई सी बोथ कपल इम्प्रेसिंग राधा इज इम्प्रेसिंग टू कृष्ण एंड बिकम चैतन्य एंड कृष्णा इज ऑल्सो डूइंग बट आई सी ऑन दी गोल्डन लाइट Yes. Chaitanya. Then you say, Krishna said, "I took the mood of Radhika and covered myself with the Radhika." That is meaning of that. I took the mood of Radhika. Krishna said, and I covered with myself with Radhika. That is the golden light. So, that is the attraction. Then, <laughs> last line. Ram, Ram. Hare Hare. Then this divine couple, who is in embrace, embracing each other, Radhika and Krishna, say to his manjari, Ram, Ram, these two couples say, "Are you what you are sitting so far? Come <laughs> near to me. I need you." I need you. You come near to me to serve. This is Manjari Bhav, Ram, Ram, Hare Hare, Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. Means he is catching the who is chanting this mantra, calling him. What you are sitting and doing? Come to me. Come to me. I want you. Shiva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So simple, so beautiful. Beautiful. I become beautiful because you give me any beauty that I don't have. And Gorabani, Braja Sunna, Igora Sunna. It's all their light shining on us through the. <laughs> no, no, your mercy, your kripa, all of us now kripa. It has been in my life. If you are not helping me. I am useless. Your kripa, you are expansion of my guru. You are are helping me. Of all Mahajans, you inspire me. I don't know this book, Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Prabhu Pad, what he is writing? Shri Kam Kishori. I want to listen, Prabhu Pad Bhagwat. It's Shrimad Bhagwat. I say yes. I will try. Hmm. Telling me, my Guru Dev through Kishori, teaching me. I don't know this. So all Vaishnav is my expansion of my Guru Dev. All expansion of Prabhupada, who knows, who want to know and live in the science of divine spiritual life. Rathe, Rathe, thank you. You're so merciful. No, you all are much good. Don't speak to me. I'm a big rascal. <laughs> Say me a rascal. Why do I like that? I do this. I'm a pradida. Don't say like this to me. I'm Without you, we are nothing. Your association. Some life change. That is my good luck. Believe. Mm -hmm. 
Buddha, we have one more question about the next sentence because it's uh, of Jiva Goswami. Can we read one more sentence, Gurudev? Yes. Sri <laughs> Jiva Goswami says that Pranaya creates a sense of non difference between the two divine lovers. A feeling of oneness in mind, heart, body, and intelligence, according to Srila Vishwanath Chakravat, Chakravati Pat. Sri Chiva Goswami says that pranaya creates a sense of non difference between the two divine lovers. You see, two divine lovers in the Hindi word, in English you can say play. When these two divine lovers want to play in their private room, that's safer. And who can see this without Kloda's Seta Pradiga? Who can see? This is the Mahaprabhu Mahasi that he gave the Dasi how that you are qualified. He gave this qualification, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that you can. Qualified if you serve Radhika, you will be qualified to see this divine couple Pranaya play in the private room. We don't want to see. Then you have to become Radha see. Without that, no friends will go in. They are not allowed to go there. And only can go Dasi of Radhika. If you become in Prakati Deha, if you are in Prusha Deha, you cannot enter there. If you have enjoyment mood, you cannot go there. But if you want to be in Prakati Deha and you want to real to serve, you need this. You need there because she needs your service. Because they are so engaged in their play, they forget what to do and what to do. Read four lines. The Chiva Goswami says that Pranaya creates a sense of non difference between the two divine lovers, a feeling of oneness in mind, heart, Body and intelligence, according to Srila Vishwanath they, they forget they are intelligent even. Hmm. They forget their body, which is now is Vata. Prema Vilas Vata Guruji. Yeah, that is for <laughs> Play chair in the Chilakot chair. <laughs> we say we, the, this boy is playing Chilakot chair. Our Priyan Kritam is Chilakot. <laughs> this is the beauty of my dream house. Apni dekhte chahen khela, apna ke manjiri bhaal hote hi par, lete hi par, lete hi hove. Means if you want to see the play of this divine kapoor, you have to take this manjiri bhaal, then you can go inside to see it and see it. Right? Jai ho gode. Yeah. You have drowning us. You understand? Right.
No, no, I don't know. You are grounding me. We are talking in Hindi and English and Bengali. <laughs> Bengali was the best school day. And German. Don't forget German, Gaurav Chandra. He was speaking German today. Autobahn and Schnelle Straße. <laughs> <laughs> You will not call me. So I remember the words and remember that. Someday before I was also in Germany, <laughs> traveling with God. But driving on the autobahn together, Gurdi, many times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jai Jai Shri Ram Jai Jai